Hello all my YouTube friends, family, and everyone that watches. Today I'm going to do a little video on toilets. You know, the poo poo, the nasty. What these hands have done for you, Ira. Romance in the Stone, old movie. Anyways, I've got a Japsco standard toilet and I've modified it. Because the Japco ones, they use the little valve and the switch and stuff. They're okay, they work as designed. But there's a way to make them better. Uh, plus I like flushing with fresh water so the holding tank doesn't smell. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you what I did. Enjoy the video. Okay, so I have a standard Jabsco toilet like everybody else. The way this thing normally is set up to flush is this hose here, comes out the back of the toilet and goes right to here. And basically you would switch this over to flush, you sit there and pump, and when you're pumping that, the water comes in around here from the ocean or however you have it hooked up, and then when you switch it over to this side, it goes out to the holding tank or to whatever you do. But these valves are not that good. They're kind of janky. They just don't work that good. So what I did is I took this hose that went from here to here. I hooked it up to a water faucet, fresh water. I like flushing with fresh water because the sewage doesn't smell. And what I do is when I'm using the toilet, if you're going to fill it, you just open up that valve. You can see it's filling up the toilet. Fill it to the level you want. Do your business. And when you're done, this valve stays right here, and you just pump it out. And if you want it to flush while you're pumping, you can leave that valve on up there. You can see the water flowing. Here it's filling up, and you just pump away, and you're good to go. You turn it off. Now, one thing I had to add is this little hose here. Remember, this hose went to here. When I disconnected and hooked it up to here, I had capped this off, but it wouldn't pump. So this has to be vented. So I vented it into the toilet. And that's a little hack. Oh, and one other thing. When you when these plungers get stiff, which they do from time to time, take some of this oil. This is just regular house cooking oil. To throw about an, on an ounce or two in there. And uh, of course, it would be nicer if you did it when it was empty. I should have had it empty. And then you pump the oil through. And what it does is it makes this plunger really free, frees it up quite a bit. And uh, if these things do get stiff and people wonder why is it so hard to pump, just put some oil through it, cooking oil. I use cooking oil because uh, I don't want to contaminate the oceans with bad oil. If we can eat it, it probably can go in the water. And that's it. And that's how that thing works. 